Hello folks, it's Dave here again and it's time for about a 30 day update. It is January the 16th and I've got to shoot some uh, footage today because I've got to clean uh, out the system, harvest all this lettuce. Uh, we're going to plant a new crop of uh, some Swiss chard mostly. I really like that stuff. We've got a bunch of little seeds coming up here, seedlings, and they're getting close to being ready to transplant so it'll take a little time to clean the system out and get it ready for the next crop but as you can see things have uh, prog progressed pretty well we've even got some cherry tomatoes that are just about ready to pick these actually these plants actually got just a little bit bigger than I thought they would they got bigger uh, in here than they did outdoors last summer which kind of surprised me but uh, it really shouldn't But since the last uh, clip, we've uh, built these little tomato cages to hold them upright because they started falling over. And I just bought some of this green chicken wire, I think from uh, Home Depot. And made some hoops and stuck them down into the hydrogen and uh, they prop them up perfect. Of course, the broccoli is getting awful big too. I think we're just about ready to start getting some heads on it. Shouldn't be, but a few more days before they start uh, developing uh, a little further along this big uh, long piece of lettuce here I've deliberately I'm gonna let it go to seed so I have some seeds for the next crop we've got a little bit of Swiss chard in there and the tilapia have gotten just a little bit bigger in 30 days let's uh, let's take a look and see how they're doing let's see if we can coax them up to the top you guys hungry Yeah, I think they're full. They've been munching on all this lettuce I've been throwing in here. They make pretty, uh, they take care of it in pretty short order. Goldfish have also gotten a lot bigger. You see one down there hiding in his little condo. Where's my big tilapia? He or she is in here somewhere. Guess down on the bottom somewhere. They're just not hungry right now. That lettuce must have filled them up. Since uh, put some uh, strawberry seeds in the strawberry tower, and they're just starting to poke their little heads up through there. Starting to see a couple here and there. That's just a little tomato uh, clipping I stuck in there for grins. Got a couple of four-foot fluorescents hanging in front of it to provide light. And we've got our homemade seedling starter light here made out of a sono tube. It's cut in half. It's used to uh, pour concrete uh, round abutments. If I cut it in half and li uh, line the uh, inside of it with just aluminum foil and for reflection, it uh, works pretty good. And our tomato cherries, uh, cherry tomatoes over here are starting to spread out quite a bit. I looked up here yesterday and we had a whole bunch of new little, little bitty ones up here almost overnight. There's another little bitty one right there. So shortly we're going to have a whole lot of cherry tomatoes that we'll be eating and sharing uh, with the family. But as you can see, this is, uh, this is getting to be uh, harvest time again. I've already harvested it a couple of times, but I'm ready to start a new crop, so. I have to break out the ladder and do some climbing. And that ought to give us a couple of great big bags. Beating salads for a few days. Nothing wrong with that. Here's our new little mascot here for otter ponics because if you don't grow in water you otter see you in about 30 days folks